You have probably been on Wikipedia and search up stuff for your school assignments and other stupid stuff. But have you ever wondered what Wikipedia actually looks like? Vsauce music... <laughs> well, obviously you know what Wikipedia looks like. It has a white background with a puzzle globe and a bunch of fucking text everywhere. everywhere. But how does Wikipedia actually look on the inside? Okay, I mean on the internet. Have you ever played Wikipedia Race? It's where you try to get from one Wikipedia article to another by just clicking links. With those principles, we can visualize Wikipedia with a graph. No, not that type of graph. That type of graph. This is what's called a node graph. Each site can be represented by a node, and every link can be represented by a link from another node. And that's how we can visualize how Wikipedia actually looks like. So, how do we actually create this node graph? Our first problem is to actually go to the website and get all the links. I have programmed with sockets and networking before, but didn't know how to get the data from a website. I then googled how to get data from an HTTP server, and I thought, FUCKING EASY MATE! I then saw that Wikipedia used HTTPS, and if you didn't know, the S stands for secure, and security in the coding world is a BITCH LASAGNA, BITCH LASAGNA So I asked ChatGPT how to deal with it, and it said, don't, use the curl library I tried to google how to use sockets, but came to the conclusion to use the curl library. It was actually pretty easy to use and implement, and I got all the data from the website. The second problem was to get the links from the HTML document. I saw some dude trying to make something similar to my project, and he used regex to get all the links. And because I'm not good at regex, I asked ChatGPT, hippity hoppity, your code is now my property. And it gave me an answer that fucking worked. Coding in 2023 people, let's go. My third problem was to render all the nodes and links. A draw call for each and every node and link would take too long because draw calls are fucking slow. Doing a draw call for each and every object would be like calling up a pizza restaurant being like, hey man, could I order one pizza? And then calling them again being like, okay, so I want one pizza and you want 500 of them. No. First I tried to add a uniform buffer with 200 or 500 objects, but I uh, quickly saw that it had its drawbacks. I wish I had some videos on this, but I'm too fucking stupid to record. So instead I tried to add an instance buffer. It's kind of like a vertex buffer, but per instance. So I tried to create this instance buffer, but I had so many fucking problems with it. Hey yo, what the fuck? I actually got something on the screen? What? I got something on the screen, what the fuck? Okay, so some cheating, cheating. Let's see if we get a... Oh, oh. Save! Oh, that's the wrong colors. Okay, I think I know the problem. Uh, I started with the um, size of uh, VEC4, but it should be zero. So I do this. Come on, 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 come 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 on, come 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 on me. I, I don't know if it works or not. No. Why does it not work? Whoa. Build fast, motherfucker. Fuck. Building, building, building. I mean, they are there. Wait, they are all 69. Oh, wait, hope it is. Can your code be my property? Yes! Holy fucking shit, that took too much time. Bam. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Oh, Question is, is this gonna be brown or like gay? Fuck. Shoo. Holy fuck. Wait, I should actually remove this or something. So yeah, that was pretty easy. Now is the point to try to create the actual graph. I first try to create a graph in a circular way. So the first node gets to create uh, children nodes in a 
360 degree angle and those children get the minimum and maximum angle where they can create their children nodes. Yes, I did the graphics myself. Yo, look, 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 look. Oh, fuck. It's kind of fucked here, but look. So yeah, I noticed some drawbacks with this method. When we have around 300 or 1000 links between each node, it can uh, create some difficulty to actually have some space around the nodes. Or the nodes would be very, very, very far apart from each other. So instead, I decided to just put them out randomly in space based on how many nodes that exist at the time. I mean, it's kind of beautiful though. So after doing some small fixes and also changing how the instance buffer creates nodes and links, going from one frame every six seconds to getting 10 frames per second and actually needing to slow down the program so Wikipedia doesn't kick me from their servers. I am going to give you the program running for a couple of seconds so you can enjoy the growth of the Wikipedia graph. Okay, so I've been recording for like 15 minutes and this is pretty damn impressive actually. Holy fuck. Uh, so we can actually look like what's in here. So here we see a Wikipedia representation. Kizuna AI. Here we have something big. We have electronics are yay. Here we have... Indian Premier League, okay, where the fuck? Yeah, so we can go through all of these. Dream! Let's see what we have on the edge. For oh, fuck's sake. Urban Strike, I have no what. No idea. Stock, man. Orange line here. LA. Yeah, and we can see um, what connections. It has, so yeah. Yeah, so just a bunch of fucking Wikipedia articles. Very nice. So here we can see that I went through 3047 websites. I created uh, 318,000 nodes. And uh, links is 1 million, 1.3 million. And here we can see all the websites that we went through. You might be wondering why I didn't scan the whole Wikipedia. One, because my computer would fucking die. Two, if I read one Wikipedia article every second or so, there are 6.7 million Wikipedia articles. It would take me around 78 days to actually search through the whole database. There are some changes that I could do to make this better and faster, like splitting up the instance buffer in two or three based on how many there are. So uh, maybe only 20,000 instances in each instance buffer is created. Because uh, now I create a whole new instance buffer after 20k nodes or edges has been created. And that's not really good actually. I also wanted to categorize each node so it has a different color based on its category. But how Wikipedia actually categorizes its uh, articles, it's 
fucking impossible to fucking color. What kind of fucking color should I have for VTubers, Otaku, 2020's internet culture, Sonic, fantasy video games, video games about robots, electronic arts, war game companies, video game publisher, YouTube, video hosting, recommender system, social media. Yeah, I think you get the gist of it. Now, I am not sure if I should release the source code or not. So we can say like this, if I get 10k views and 169 upvotes or likes, in the next 3 months I will release the source code. Now, there are people that have created what I have done, however, I have never seen in real time or a sped up version where the node graph is created. What I have seen, that is. So you can tell me if I'm wrong. I will also leave those videos in the description. So see you next time, bye! Merry Christmas, motherfucker. <coughs> Holy fuck, Mingu. Yeah. It's the middle of the night, but fuck yeah. That's enough for the... That's enough for... That's enough for today. Fuck this.